Here we are on the Neptune launch platform. The next thing we need to build is a Neptune gantry, a plasteel ingot, copper wire, and lubricant. Plasteel ingot, copper wire, and lubricant. Okay. What have I got? Not got anything in there. Um, blueprints. Okay, so we can get the record of that in here. That's good. Because I will instantly forget. Right, we can make all of those things pretty, pretty quick. Um, dive in. All right. Lube. Where are the? Here we are. We might as well grab some of these while we're here. Lubrication, grab this. Okay, perfect. So, yeah, it feels like we're coming to a slowish. Well, we are coming to the end, which is. Kind of sad, it's been a really cool game, but let's not speak too soon because are these all empty. Well, I'll grab all this stuff out of here. So I'd have to check these again. Okay, right. I'm just coming back here to check what we Welcome have. Welcome aboard, Captain. On board. There's nothing in that one. And some bits and pieces in that one, okay. We've not needed uranite yet. We'll not lob the eggs in. Batteries I can take. And these power cells I can take. Chuck that one in. Cool. Okay, so that's that's all that. So is there anything here that might be useful? Not really. Salt is the only thing. I think we're pretty good. Just water. Well, close up into water. That's right. Right, well, I think we can leave the moon port and just use the cyclops now. Well, we should probably just whack the prawn back inside here. Yeah. And we should also probably move the Cyclops closer Engine to my up. to my where are we? Over here. So we can get to our resources quicker. Static again, it's really strange. Okay, where's the ladder? Is it on the back? Oh no, there's ladders everywhere. I'm sorry. Okay, that'll do. Engine powering down. Perfect. Okay, plasteel ingot. We've got some lubrication. Um, and what was the other thing we needed? A copper wire, of course, of course. Right, some of that. Pardon me, it's just wondering whether there's going to be some big twist where we lose. We really need a bit of lithium for plastic, don't we? Where we lose. I don't know if the ship falls apart in mid-air or whatever. If 
five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Do we have any actual titanium ingots made? No. No. A lot of diamond. And one iron power cell. I like the fact that it suggests, oh, in the blueprints, to use alien power sources, and it cannot. It may not know what will happen if we if we use those, which is why I'm definitely going to use them to see what happens. Excellent, right? Plus steel. I oh, don't another bit of titanium, right? Uh, lithium, sorry. Might need. I was hoping we would have every single resource needed on board, but it's starting to look like we'll at least have to go and get more titanium. If I'm guessing titanium is going to be a key part of basically all of this. If, if I just had to make one plus steel, I'm sure I'm going to have to make more. Um, we're making a massive rocket after all. Oh, they're, they're the little droids. I like them. Right. Let's do it. Oh, nice. Sweet music. Right. Oh, this is the gantry. This is just to get on board the rocket. Ha. <laughs> this is not even to... Uh... Oh, wow. I nearly smashed into my portable vehicle station there. Fantastic. This is just a egg and the rocket's gonna be bloody enormous, right. <gasps> How do I package you up there? Well, I'll lob you into the furthest place, like here. Okay. Great stuff. A new blueprint. Neptune boosters. Okay. Another plastic wing got as I thought thought. Nickel ore times three. Aerogel times two and a wiring kit. Okay, aerogel was a wiring kit was two bits of silver. Aerogel was gel sacks and ruby. Gel sacks and ruby. Now that is interesting. I don't think we've got any. Bits two bits of silver as well. Salt. Okay, there's some more titanium. One, two, three, four, five, six. Oh, perfect. Well, there's all the titanium from downstairs used. Gel sacks and ruby. We might not have, to have any of them. We might have to go. A one. Uh, we got one there. Ah, we do have a t couple of titanium ingots. Ah, I didn't realise. Okay, we'd use those. Well, let's just use. Let's just chuck one in for now. A bit of lithium. Aha, silver. Lead we don't need. Another bit of lithium needed. I'm actually looking rather thin on the ground here, and that, that's cool. Like crystalline sulfur. Another gel sack, perfect. Another ruby. Excellent, so we need to make aerogel, we can make two of those, yes, plus the ingot, we can make two of we can make Oh I've got a titanium ingot. Why did I put it back? Oh wait, let's make one, yeah, let's make it. Um we can make that. Three bits of nickel and a wiring kit, right, cool, we can make that. We've got nickel, haven't we? Somewhere. Yes, load of nickel. One, two, three. Make the titanium ingot use up the space from this. A bit of plastic. Two bits of aerogel. I have a horrible feeling that we may have to go and find some resources. I've got some kyanite, but I'm starting to feel like we're going to be needing some of the much more 
advanced stuff. But let's wait and see. Hopefully not. Because I cannot be bothered to go too far and wide. Right. Let's get the engines built. I knew there was a reason I was stockpiling resources. It was all planned. Wow. Look at this. This is a proper rocket. Andrew's been built anyway. Has it got an elevator or has it got a ladder? Cool elevator. Oh, fantastic. Should we go up there and have a little look, have a little look around? We can't do it yet. We can't do it yet. Oh, it's here already. Bloody hell. There we go. Maybe we should try flying leap off the top. Have a bit of fun while we're here. Right. Yes, see the... That is the, the foggy island, and that's where the mountain island is. And there's, an, there's another bit of fog. Brilliant. My engines are built. Right, we have a new blueprint for the Neptune fuel reserve. Crystalline sulfur. Kyanite. Yeah, iron pilot power cells. This is it. This is getting more advanced now. I don't think we've got <laughs> four bits of, was it four bits? Yeah, blast. I was thinking it was going to need the, for the, um, the more advanced materials. Plus steel, we've got, we can make that. Power cells, ion, we can make those. Crystalline sulfur. We've got one, I've seen one. Let's hope we've got more in reserve somewhere. I think we've got the kyanite, but we might need to go back. Where I know the uh, the crystalline sulfur is, is back in the cave. Back in the skeleton caves. It was down quite low, wasn't it? Bloody hell, right. Let's grab that. Uh, I don't need any of that. Oh no, lithium. I can use two of those with a, with a titanium ingot. This across into my store of diamond, anyway. Right, that one's empty, I think. Yeah, crystalline sulfur. Right, there's the kyanite. Okay, we're, we're gonna leave it in there for now. Loads of copper, did well there. Blast, 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 blast. We've only got one bit. Well, it looks like we're going back to the caves anyway. Which will be fun. Um, okay, let's just ditch all this in here for the moment. We could make the power cell, I suppose. We needed batteries, didn't we? We need some iron. How do we make a iron power cell? two ion batteries. Ah, oh, we don't even need batteries, we just need ion cubes, gold, one ion cube, one piece of gold, one piece of silver, right. Two is of silver, gold. There's one bit. Let's bring on all, all of our downstairs resources upstairs, shall we? Uh, well, no, actually, we'll take the copper. We're going to leave that. Bring the gold. Yep, sweet. So we can make batteries, ion batteries. The ion power cell require two ion batteries, yeah. So, and some silicon. Oh, I had some silicon rubber downstairs. Damn.
beautiful. Okay, but we have a slight issue. We can't make... Drop the copper in there. Drop those to get in there. Bit of gold. Um, yeah, we can't put anything else. Power cells. All the tools. We, could, we are quite hungry and thirsty, actually. I think we're going to be taking the prawn back down into the caves, aren't we? Which is thoroughly annoying. So I can go back to my base and grab some more water when I'm down there. We need something to eat. That's, that is the next question. Right, so we've got... It's, we've got the kyanite. We should probably grab some more kyanite while we're down there. We need crystalline sulfur. We could probably grab some more kyanite when we're down there. We've got loads of iron. I don't need to go. I've got, five, I've got five bits of kyanite. Problem is, the kyanite was really, really deep, wasn't it? It was back down. Okay, we've got iron. But loads of iron, we're fine. It's the kyanite that we need, and probably some more rubies. Ah, we've got five more bits of kyanite there. So there's five. I think we're okay for... Wait, hold on. That is the kyanite I'm talking about, isn't it? Only five. The kyanite was really deep down in the lava... ...caves. This will be, it'll be so annoying if I don't get it. I'll probably have to go back and get some more. Well, that's added an unexpected twist to the, get to the uh, proceedings. Or a partly expected one, to be honest. Right, let's eat some peepers. Gary Fish. Oh, that's a little leech, dude. Cooked people. Oh, there you are. Right. Okay, wonderful. Well, it seems like we're going back. But if I go back to the mountain island, I can use the phase gate there. Welcome aboard, Captain. All systems online. If I use. Yeah, if I go back to the mountain island, instead of back to the cave, straight to the caves. The caves are easier to access. They're both in the same direction, so just think on the way. There's this camera one, where are we? Skeleton cave, underwater islands, mountain island, right. So if we go back to the skeleton cave, we can access I think we can get to the crystalline sulfite, or whatever the hell it was called, much more quickly. The question is if we're going to need more kyanite. If we're going to need more kyanite, we need to go down. Okay, what we'll do is we'll go to the entrance of the caves, and we will just get crystalline sulfite. So we'll the prawn, and hope that my five bits of kyanite are enough. Otherwise. We're screwed. The other thing which I kind of feel a little bit like I should do is before. 
before I leave is go far to the south because I'm I've, I've basically just hung around in the, the center and north. I've journeyed to the south slightly. I haven't really looked around properly. There could be all sorts of interesting things there. That I've missed. Although I think some of the phase gate doors from the containment center probably took me to the south. And the places I found were vaguely similar types of environments to the ones I've already found, but still it would be probably quite good fun. There's a reef pack. Whoa, we're going over the top of a couple here. first encountered these these creatures back early in the game. Absolutely terrifying and then mustering the courage to go and investigate for what they are and realizing that they're lovely little fellas. There's one of our alien vents on the uh, top of this kind of cliff. It was a hell of a logistical uh, build, wasn't it? This this alien research planet. Incredible engineering. Right. I think we can dunk down now. Don't like these cr creatures. They just a ha they're just a hassle. They just attack you constantly. The worst part of the game was when I was stuck in like just some wasteland kind of hardly any resources. Before I found this area actually, and I was just surrounded by those bloody things, and they were just consistently attacking me. at all. No. Oh, we're, we're going too far past. Wait, where did I park last time? Oh, right. Wow, we're actually very close to... So the case just dropped there, so let's park over here. There's more in the prawn. I'm full, I'm full of food. I'm pretty sure there's more in the prawn, isn't there? Yeah, loads. Food, though, is one thing we could use. Right, to it? Wonderful. Right, we're back. We are back. And the, the cove tree's down there. The skeleton cave's over this way. Beautiful. Welcome back to the cave I didn't want to come back to. Inevitably. Oh, 
all those videos back when I first discovered this cave, I knew it was going to be something epic. But what is that? Is that urine? It's not like it's not crystalline, whatever, is it? Just check that stuff. I'm not sure it is. I think it's urine and night, or however you pronounce it. Yeah. Of which I could probably grab a few, to be honest. I've only got four or five. And there were large resource deposits of the crystalline sulfur, but so I'm going to grab as much as I possibly can. We don't, we've got some plastic ingots, plus I can get it quite easily titanium. Let's not worry about titanium. Let's worry about this stuff. And ruby. Lovely. Right. This crystalline sulfur has quartz there. We don't have much quartz either, do we? This crystalline sulfur grows magnetite. Oh, no, lithium. Quite a lot in this, like, murky green nonsense, doesn't it? As much as I don't like these caves, you've got to admit they're full of, full of delicious resources. Sulfur, come on. Nope, not as full as I need. Good stuff. Oh, there's a bit. There's a bit. There's two bits. Another bit there. I'm gonna just duck down and grab it. Oh, it hurts. Oh, there's another bit there. That's horrible. I think that's all I need. I mean, I probably will need. Well, is it gonna make me come get more? Should I stock up whilst I'm here? Yes, probably is the answer to that question. Skeleton, that might be. Can we see the Reaper anywhere? Oh no, there's a spinefish thing over there. That's a bit. Lovely. Actually, to be honest, coming back here wasn't that big a deal. It's only if we need kyanite that's gonna cause us a big issue. And if that's. If it does. If we do need kyanite, we're gonna go through the gates instead. That's a bit. go through the uh, phase gate rather than back to Oh god! Has he spotted me? No, he's attacking- Oh! Oh, I've just backed into the murk. Okay, how much have we picked up? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And we got one in the... One backer in the... Uh, a bit of silver. I think we'll be okay. I think that's more than enough. Crystalline sulfur, yeah, cool. Are you coming at me? No, maybe not. Maybe. 
That dude's still infected down there, like. Hopefully the Sea Emperor babies can lend him a hand. These cool these guys are cool. Right, so let's double check our ingredients. Right, we've definitely got we've got five kyanite. We've got a plastic ingot, we've got the power cells, we've got the crystalline sulfur. Right, let's screw it, let's just get back out and do it. And hope beyond hope that we don't need any more. Where's the exit? Just here. Where is the exit? Yeah. What's this? Is that copper again? So much copper now. Copper beyond copper, right. There is a warper around, so... Let's be careful. Let's also grab some of this. We've yet to use... your Ninite. It's for nuclear reactors. Um, but the power... We're currently building the power cells, aren't we? Oh, we're going back down. Ah, wrong way. Lovely stuff. Let's get the hell out of here. Back to you. Engine powering up. Up, up, and away. Right, where? We need to spin, don't we? I'm glad we bought the Kyanite back with us. Oh god, what the hell is smashing into me? Fish. Infected as well. As much as I don't like those guys, I don't want him to die of infection. So we're heading back south again. Camera three is kind of south, kind of southwest. Yeah, we really just didn't go too far south. But I should probably head off there before I, before I jet off in my, if I jet off in my Neptune, if nothing weird befalls me on the one, in between now and then, but, 
person is killing me both of them. Yeah, well, the good thing is we've managed to avoid being... Well, I lost my Seamoth, but I've actually not been killed by a... Have I been killed? I've died two, three times. I think one time was from the gas pod dudes, which was kind of weird. They released so much of that. I was trying to grab the gas pods and died from the crap that they emit. That was a ridiculous death. I can't remember the other deaths. Oh, the crash fish. I think a crash fish killed me one time. I can't really remember. But we haven't been killed by a reaper or... I've decided to play the game, as I normally try to play games, in quite a kind of exploratory stealthy way instead of uh, because there's not really any weapons which you can't fit the cyclops out with torpedoes for example like uh, offensive torpedoes so I've tried to play a much more sort of stealthy type of game and that's just the way I like to play anyway okay engine powering down well, right, do we have everything we need? Right, we need four bits of crystalline, four bits of kyanite, one plastic ingot, and power cells. So, where's my stuff? There, 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 there. Oh no, okay, we don't need. We only need four of those. We need those. Oh no, we don't need those. We chuck the gold in, and the quartz. Four. Four. Four, four. Lithium. Silver. Power cells. And what was the last thing? Oh, plastic ingot. Yeah, we've got a couple of titanium ingots, right? There's one. Lithium. Right. So the big test is we've got all of that. Are we going to need more kyanite in the next round? If we are, then Beast that we're building. Look at the size of him. Fantastic. Wrong side. Okay, wow. Neptune. Ion power cells. It was never meant to be built with ion power cells. And the last piece. Oh, thank God. No, we don't need it. We need the Cyclops shield generator. Oh, we've got one of those. Oh, good. We don't need any more kind. We need another plastic. We need enameled glass and computer chip. Thank God for that. Right. That's all fine. That's all fine. Enameled glass, though. We might need to go and revisit the stalkers for the last time. Luckily, we're, we're kind of here with them. Yeah, we definitely want to do that. Let's do it while we're here. Where are you, stalkers? 
Okay, one I think just took a bite at me. Oh, there's one over there. Was that one right there at the bottom? No. Right, bite onto that bit of metal and break your teeth. Whoa, okay, okay. Wow, I'm getting some horrible lag. That's one of those dudes. Suddenly fraught with danger, this area. Stalkers, I need your teeth. Stop being in pain. Teeth. Nope. Okay, let's get out of here and get the other resources together. Okay, we need a computer chip as per usual. Glass, so we need some quartz, a cyclop shield generator. So that does mean we if we take that and build that, we are not going anywhere else, are we? I'll be happy for that to be the case. Yeah, yeah, we will. Right, we'll take a bit of that. Uh, the computer chip is gold, copper wire, and table coral. Okay, gold, copper wire, and table coral. Plus steel again. One of those, two of those. Some gold, some table coral. Was it just the one we needed? I can never remember. Was it two? Two bits. Okay, another bit of that. A couple of bits of copper. Right. Glass. We need, just need that bit of enameled glass, that's all. Where are you, Neptune? Plus steel, enameled glass, and the cycle of show generator, that's on board. So enameled glass is just a bit of glass with some teeth, right? One stalker tooth is all we need. Am I going to get any from these stupid, stupid stalkers?
last time we were collecting teeth it was in more of like a valley. And it was much more kind of easy to sweep back and forwards. Oh wow, look. That dude's giving off the enzyme, I think. Okay, that stalker is lifting a bit of metal. Come on, drop the metal and drop a tooth. No, no, he's just going to attack me instead. Whoa, okay, okay. Look at this little cave. Oh, the, I know where this cave is. This is off. This is going down into the sea. It's the sea snake cave, isn't it? We've been down there a few times. I can't believe this entire rocket is resting on finding a tooth from a native fish. Doesn't make any sense. Yeah! Two of you must drop a tooth around somewhere. I mean, I suppose you only have a few, unless you can grow teeth at an alarming rate. You've got to drop a tooth at some point, right? Come on. No, no, it didn't drop one. It didn't drop one. Ah. Uh, nor did he. Ah, oh, bloody hell. Okay, so there was... Back towards the moon pool, there was another... Maybe better area. That was between the moon pool and the uh, life, life pod. So let's try that instead. Welcome Come across my right. What shall I have in here? Anything of use? No salt and power cells. Take those. See more depth module? No, we don't need any of that. That one's empty. Yes it is. Lovely. Right, just go just between here and the pod. I was kind of aiming to. Not that I want to rush through the game, but. Well, I haven't rushed through the game at all, I've taken my time. But. I was kind of hoping to finish the video in this. to finish the game in this video. Ah, it's a crash fish. But, that might not be what's going to happen. Maybe I will delay the launch for one last video because the time is getting on and I haven't found a single stupid stalker tooth right this is where I had luck before finding a stalker tooth along this kind of ravine there is a tooth I think that's a tooth yes it's two, one, two, and out, to, and out of here. Fantastic. Knew we'd get there in the end. I don't know what everyone was worried about. Sorry, people. Come back. Ah. What's that noise? Pods. They kill me again, probably. Top 
up the belly. We've got a long journey ahead, right. plus two ingot, enamel glass, and there was one more thing. Oh, it was the uh, Cyclops shield generator. Advanced wiring kit, polyaniline. Okay, we can make that again if we want to go exploring. It, I, I'm guessing the game might give us the chance to uh, it might give us the chance to oh no, because if we're jetting off in the Neptune, then it obviously is not going to give us the chance. So this is my chance now to Continue playing if I want. But I think what we're going to do is see this through and call and call this the end. It's been a long old play. I've thoroughly enjoyed it. I mean, I'm making the assumption this is the end. I think it is. And it's been a great play for I've really, really enjoyed it. I love these kind of explorational games. Nice. I love encountering new biomes and new creatures and caves, etc. Building submarines and piloting them around. It's been fantastic. And I lo also love building enormous bloody rockets like this. Right. Well, I think we're absolutely ready. Wow, the hell? Neptune one rocket online. That was scary. Should we just get the hell out of here? I think we're ready. Well. Just gonna leave it all here, I suppose. This seems to be it. It's pretty cool, isn't it? Do I need to think? I don't think we need to worry about food and drink, do we? It's not gonna be that kind of game. Is it? We've got storage. Don't tell me I need to prepare more stuff, do we? Communications array. Got storage. Is this just kind of hydraulic systems? Wow. Power. There we are. Yeah, so I need to actually flick all of those on, right? Life support systems. Okay, life support. So we, I don't think we need food. Prepare time capsule. Okay. Ah, I can make a time capsule. We've, we've come across a few of these. And I think that means... Oh, wow. Okay. We can... Ah, oh, we can make a time capsule. I think we can leave this for another player. That's quite cool. What would I want to leave them? What's this? Boot up the primary CPU. Activate life support. So we need to flick all of these on. So these are things we need to do. Turn on the computers, time capsule, life support systems. We might need to bring some water and food. Okay. 
Well, I think I'm gonna leave this for the next video. I thought we were gonna end it here, but actually what we'll do is we will do all of the, those things in the next video and launch and finish the game in the next vid. I think I need to prepare some, f just in case, some food and water and prepare a time capsule of interesting things for another player. Which I think is what he's kind of suggesting. Um, what kind of cool stuff could I leave? I could leave them my thermo knife or something. Something kind of cool. Okay, we are going to end the video here and I think, probably, hopefully, end the game in the next one. Thank you very much for watching.